is going on, fellow viewer? This is Steampunk J here, coming at you from my humble art studio with another speed draw session. Yeah! How is everyone doing? I hope your day is going great. I have been trying to put this video together all day long. I told myself maybe I should try doing this a little bit more professionally, but like I said, I've been trying to put all of this thing together all day, trying to come up with the right words, trying to write the stuff down, and every time I make a mistake or every time I say the dreaded speech impediments like the ums and the uhs and everything like that, I just found myself just standing here in front of this mic for what's supposed to take minutes for me to actually put together actually took me hours until I said, you know what, forget perfection. Why not just put this mic in front of you and just be yourself. All the flaws and all the mistakes that you can make right here, just like I did in this John, everything is not gonna come out perfect, but then again, once I start speaking, it is just perfection for me. And I realize that it is just gonna just, it just feels more fluid, it feels more like I'm flowing as, like I said, I am messing up right now, but guess what? I don't care anymore because I know that if I just go back here and just correct all of my mistakes, I will be making this video uh, and you'll be seeing it in about like maybe one or two months later. So I hope everyone is doing great. Another speed draw session and I am continuing on with finalizing my final look for this character right here. For those of you that have been following me from the beginning right here, I have come upon a gold mine of an idea. And it all began with this speed drawing challenge that I did a while back called the Hurricane Storm Tracker, in which I follow my favorite team, the Carolina Hurricanes, as they go and play their 2020-2021 season. And for every game they play, I do a drawing based off the game, how I reacted, what I thought about it. And so, 56 games, 56 drawings, 56 videos, and even though I felt like I was just losing my mind throughout this whole entire challenge, it actually gave way to a wonderful idea in which I take the hockey team's mascot, in which my case, my favorite team is the Carolina Hurricanes. I did a gender bent mascot of my team, the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, Stormy the Ice Hog, and I actually created uh, this OC character, Cyclone. So she is like in my world, a mascot for the Hurricanes, even though she has her own little story. And then, I said to myself, you know what? Instead of doing a gender bend for just my team alone, why not put her in a world where she actually interacts with other characters? And so, this series that I'm putting together called the Face Off Queens uh, actually just came about. So I've done the mascots for the Predators. I, I think I've done for like, you know, with Cyclone. I think she's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight characters already. And today is something very unique in which I am tackling another original six team. For those of you that are not all too big about hockey, let me put it to you this way. If you know hockey, then you should know what the National Hockey League is, the NHL. Well, in the beginning, back in like the 18 or the 19, early 1900s, when it was all being formed, uh, you will hear this quote or this name often, the original six. So basically when the National Hockey League was formed, the original six teams were put together or were formed at that time. And they were the, basically the starting teams. And the starting teams were the Detroit Red Wings, Montreal Canadiens, Chicago Blackhawks, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, New York Rangers, and of course, the team that I'm that I'm uh, putting together right now, the Boston Bruins. And of course, the Boston Bruins mascot is a bear. And the bear for the team is named Blake. So I decided to go and give it like a little gender bend treatment. And here you have in this drawing, you are seeing me finalize the character for that is supposed to be a representation of the Boston Bruins team. And I decided to 
humbly name her one of the original six, the Boston Bruins queen here, Lacey. Now, the reason why that I've chosen the name Lacey is because whenever I put together or like do like these gender bend things, I have to think of a clever name that represents the team. And of course, it causes me to do a whole bunch of research. Research in this case, meaning that with this team, the Bruins, I was diving deep into the history. The mottos, the lore, the other names, were they known by any other team name before they became the Bruins? It was painstaking. I even had gone so far as to figure out like, you know, is there another name for a bear? Because technically, a Bruin, if you're wondering what the term Bruins mean, I actually looked it up in the dictionary and it said that it's a folklore or fantasy bear, basically. So, it's a bear, but if you're looking up like, you know, the, like Rapunzel or a fairy tale, Snow White, Cinderella or something like that, in that fantasy or made up fantasy realm, uh, that's what they call their bears, Bruins. It's a, it's a folklore bear. So, uh, with Blades, I was just thinking, hmm, what is a good name? How am I gonna figure out a clever name? So, the name, actually came about when I was just thinking about Blade's name. So Blade is obviously the part of a skate that's uh, that's what hockey players play on. It's it, it's a part of their skates that they wear, the Blade. And I was just thinking, hmm, okay, so if they decide to name Blades a part of a skate or a part of an equipment, then how about just to keep within the realm of the skates, why not give this character that I created, another part of the skate, which is the laces. The blades is what's used to slide on the ice, and of course the laces is what's used to tie up the skates. So laces, or lacy, just came to mind, and I thought, you know what, lacy is the one name that's sticking in my head, perfect. So here you are, lacy, and of course she's just a, she's a bear, She's a big bear, she's a mama bear. She's another bear that is uh, just like the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, mascot, the polar bear, but make no mistake, uh, while, the, while Patricia for the Toronto Maple Leafs is the tallest bear in the group, Lacey is a bit more thicker and more wider compared to the other bears, if you know what I mean. I mean, she's mama bear, for crying out loud. So, uh, Lacey, she's uh, holding up, she's wearing the traditional uh, cheerleader uh, outfit that the Boston Bruins cheerleader squad wears. And, of course, just to give another shout out to the Boston Bruins team, like I've done for all the other uh, mascot ladies that I have on my face-off Queens roster. She has the hockey stick, and of course, it has her name, Lacey Chan, and of course, on the stick is the Boston Bruins motto. Now, originally, when I first looked it up, the Boston Bruins motto, it was something long and not really, like, a very interesting motto, but, I also found out that there's a secondary motto that I thought, you know what, that actually sounds much more something that I would cheer, something that I would get behind. And of course, the motto for the Boston Bruins, which I think it's the current one, the internet has just yet to update their stuff, fear the bear, fear the bear. And of course, that motto just takes me back to when I actually went to Boston, Massachusetts myself and actually saw uh, the Bruins play at the TD Garden. And I gotta tell you, just the atmosphere, just the image of the statue of the one of the greatest hockey legends, Bobby Orr, outside of the arena alone, it just gives me the chills. It just gives me the button, like, I am actually stepping into, like, something that I have experienced when I went to Toronto, Canada. Just the culture of hockey was just vibrant. It is just explosive. It is just radiating hockey. The people in that part of the world, they love their hockey. And of course, I felt the same vibe when I went to New York, and it is, it, I just don't know how to describe it, guys. It is just, if you're a big fan of hockey, you need to go to one of the original six 
uh, teams and just witness the culture of hockey itself from the environment, from the fans, from the arena. Everything just is just radiates the history of hockey. And for me being a big hockey fan, that says a lot. So I just I just got no other words to describe it right here. It is because of the sport of hockey that it just gave inspiration to what I'm doing with these face-off queens right here. And right now, I believe that with Lacey, she is probably... Uh, I, once again, I have to count in my head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She is the number eight of the of the face-off queens that I'm finalizing their looks. This is the look that, that they're gonna stick with for some time, maybe change in the future because that's what being a good artist is all about. It's all about uh, changes. And if something looks right in the near future, then implement it. I started off with two or three poses in the beginning and then all of a sudden, I, it just didn't look right to me, the art process, until finally, I just thought in my head like like this one pose would definitely suit a uh, Lacey Chan more. So it's constantly evolving. It's constant. I'm always constantly developing my works until the character comes out just the way that I wanted her to look. So all, that's all I have to say right here. I meant doing the drawing is for me the easy part talking about it is another realm in which i have to keep you on this video with just the best words that i can put together maybe keep you entertained while i'm doing it i hope i'm doing all right but if not oh well <laughs> it is what it is uh, I just know that the drawing looks great, all inspired by the original six, the Boston Bruins, one of the classic teams. And of course she is a big classy mama bear just roaming alongside with the Detroit Red Wings, the New York Rangers, and the Toronto Maple Leafs. And now my big challenge is trying to figure out what am I gonna do with the final two of the original six. The number one team, the Montreal Canadiens, is a tricky one. And then of course you have the Chicago Blackhawks, which is a Blackhawk, a bird. So I need to go to work and try to put all this together. But this is a good start right here with finalizing Lacey. She is like, you know, Patricia will always be the mama bear of the group for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But then again, you also gotta have the big mama bear for the Boston Bruins right here. And she is, is the queen of Boston. So I uh, welcome Lacey. I hope that you all love it. And she is a fine, she is a beautiful addition to my series, The Face Off Queens. Here is Lacey of the Boston Bruins. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like the drawing that I made, then don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And also, if you want to see me do more drawings of the face off queens or any other drawings in the future, then don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content and hit that notification bell to always stay notified. To all my fellow artists and art fans out there, this is Steampunk J. And always remember to keep on drawing.